Wang Jihyun with a stage name Jun Jihyun is a huge Hallyu star. You probably know her from a drama called My Love from the Star. She has received multiple awards, including two Grand Bell Awards for Best Actress and a Daesang Grand Prize for Television at the Bexang Art Awards. She was born on October 30, 1981 in Seoul, South Korea. She has a brother that is five years older than her. Due to her height and slim build, her mother and her mother's acquaintances all encouraged her to pursue a modeling or acting career. She had always wanted to work as a flight attendant, but after taking a flight, she had second thoughts. She started her career as a model for a call magazine in 1997 at the age of 16, following in the footsteps of a female high school senior. In 1998, she debuted as an actress and adopted the stage name Jun Jihyun at the suggestion of a producer. Jun attended college at Dongguk University and graduated in 2004 with a bachelor's degree in theater and film. She later enrolled in Dongguk University's Graduate School of Digital Media and Contents in 2011 and obtained a master's degree. Jun originally rose to fame as a TV actress and commercial model. She made her film debut in the underappreciated White Valentine in 1999, but it wasn't until later that year, when she appeared in a Samsung My Jet Printer commercial, that she rose to fame. She became an icon for Koreans in their late teens and early 20s thanks to the dancing and attitude displayed in the commercial. The following year, June made her first well-publicized film appearance in late 2000 with Ayal Mare, a handsomely shot melodrama set on Gangwa Island. The film did respectably well at the box office. My Sassy Girl, a comedy about a naive college student and his slightly insane girlfriend, became June's breakthrough movie. Gender stereotypes in Asia were broken by June's sassy, loud, and domineering persona but simultaneously embodying features of a pure-hearted girl. The movie went on to earn the most money of any Korean comedy ever in Korea and spent two weeks at the top of the box office in Hong Kong, catapulting Jun into Pan-Asia popularity as one of the biggest Hallyu stars in the Chinese language market. My Sassy Girl's enormous success also helped Jun become more well-known domestically, earning her the moniker Nation's First Love. Several businesses requested Jun's endorsement as a result of her rising fame. June starred in the 2003 psychological thriller The Uninvited, which earned favorable reviews from reviewers but did not do well with audiences. She appeared frequently in TV commercials and on billboards in Korea and other Asian nations during this time. She reunited with Kwok Jae-yong, the director of My Sassy Girl, in 2004, appearing as a policewoman in the romantic comedy Windstruck. However, viewers felt her role was too similar to My Sassy Girl. There were also signs that her popularity had started to suffer because of overexposure in advertisements. Nonetheless, Windstruck became the best-performing Korean film in Japan at the time, where My Sassy Girl was not as well known. In a 2005 survey of influential movie producers, she was ranked among the top 10 most bankable stars in Korea. It was revealed before the end of 2006 that June would finally make her long-anticipated transition to Hollywood by taking the lead in Blood, The Last Vampire. To portray the sword-wielding martial arts heroine, she put in three months of arduous training. She changed her name to Gianna June when the movie was being filmed and promoted before it was released in 2009. The next year, in 2008, Gianna by True Religion, June's first celebrity line, debuted. She apparently participated in all aspects of their manufacturing, including design, choosing fit and wash, and accessorizing them. She co-starred with Chinese actress Li Bingbing in Wayne Wong's 2010 English-language adaptation of best-selling author Lisa C's book of the same name, Snowflower and the Hidden Fan, The Joy Love Club. The movie, which takes place in a rural part of 19th century China, tells the story of Lily and Snowflower, two ladies who have been friends for life, and of the incarceration they suffered due to the rigid cultural norms that were in place at the time for women. 
She was photographed by Annie Leibovitz for the July issue of the American edition of Vogue, the first Korean actress to be included in the iconic fashion magazine. As part of the star-studded cast of The Thieves, June was a scene stealer in Choi Dong-hoon's 2012 heist film about thieves from Korea and China who team up together to steal a diamond worth 30 million US dollars, which is locked in a special room at a casino in Macau. The Thieves became the second top-selling Korean film of all time. With her The Thieves co-star Kim Soo-hyun, June made her much-awaited comeback to television in the fantasy romance My Love from the Star. Kim portrays an alien that arrived on Earth 400 years ago during the Joseon dynasty, and June plays a modern-day top actress who falls in love with him. The television show was a ratings hit and started trends in restaurants, cosmetics, and clothing. At the 2014 Baekseng Arts Awards and the 2014 SBS Drama Awards, June earned the Daesang, or Grand Prize, the top honor for television. The drama restored June's position as a Hallyu leader, and the Korean Popular Culture and Arts Awards presented her with the President's Award. She reconnected with filmmaker Choi Dong-hoon in 2015 for the spy action thriller Assassination, in which she played a sniper who assembles a team of independence fighters to kill a Japanese army commander and a pro-Japanese Korean business magnate. The film is set during the 1930s colonial era. The movie was another financial triumph for Choi and June, Assassination was the highest-grossing Korean movie of the year and ranked 8th all-time in terms of box office takes. At the Grand Bell Awards and Max Movie Awards, June won Best Actress. In November 2016, June made her small-screen comeback in the SBS fantasy romance drama The Legend of the Blue Sea with Lee Min-ho, reuniting with my love from the star scriptwriter Park Ji-yoon. The only female performer, June, was voted ninth in Gallup Korea's list of the top 10 actors of 2016. The Netflix period zombie thriller Kingdom's second season featured a brief cameo from June in March 2020. She then received confirmation that she would play the same character again and star in the side story Kingdom, Ashen of the North with her assassination co-star Park Byung-un. One of the most sought-after celebrity endorsers in South Korea is June. She earned an estimated 20 billion from endorsement deals and advertisements in 2014. According to market data from the same year, she was fourth among male and female celebrities overall and first among South Korean female celebrities in terms of the value of her real estate assets. June reclaimed her position at the top of the advertising rankings in 2016 after earning $14 billion for the 14 ads she had filmed. The lipstick she wore on My Love from the Star, YSL Rouge Per Couture No. 52 sold out worldwide, while the same coat she wore on the show caused a surge in sales of over 2,500 in She's Miss stores in 10 days. In 2015, June was selected by Italian luxury fashion house Gucci as the new face for the brand's Asia-exclusive spring-summer 2015 accessories campaign. In February 2020, LG Household and Healthcare had selected her as the new global ambassador of a luxury beauty brand. In 2020, June became the first Korean ambassador of Alexander McQueen. In September 2022, June became the first South Korean female artist to become global ambassador for British luxury fashion house Burberry. On April 13, 2012, at the Shilla Hotel in Jangcheongdong, Central Seoul, Jun wed Choi Jun Hyuk in front of more than 600 guests, including celebrities, close friends, and relatives. Banker Choi is the son of fashion designer Lee Young Woo and the grandson of renowned Hanbok designer Lee Young Hee. The wedding's congratulations funds were given to charity. On February 10, 2016, Jun gave birth to the couple's first child, a boy, and on January 26, 2018, to their second son. In 2006, June and six other Korean celebrities, Yoon Woo Sung, Kim Sun Ae, Jo In Sung, Ji Jin Hee, Cha Tae Hyun, and Young Jin Woo, filed a lawsuit against the monthly film magazine screen for unauthorized commercial use of their images. The publisher must pay each star between 5 and 15 million won, $1 million to $45 million, as compensation for violating their publicity rights, the Seoul Central District Court declared in 2007. In 2009, police discovered that June's cell phone had been illegally cloned. 
Seoul Metropolitan Police arrested a private detective, identified as Kim, who testified that it was ordered by Citus HQ, June's then agency of 13 years, for which he was paid 6.4 million Korean wands in cash by the brother of the agency's founder and then CEO Yung Hoon Tak. Police said June's management company used the cloned phone to keep tabs on her in an attempt to exert control over all aspects of her life. Citus HQ denied the allegations. Young Hoon Tak was later cleared after police could not find any concrete evidence of his direct involvement. Kim was sentenced to one year in prison for invasion of privacy, Young's brother received suspended jail terms. Because of the scandal, many expected her to leave once her contract expired, but she surprisingly extended her contract with Citus HQ for one more year. Then in 2011 she set up her own management agency, JN Co. Entertainment, before moving to Culture Depot, an agency owned by a close friend, in 2012. The CEO of Citus HQ, Yung Hoon Tak, was charged with utilizing Jun's bank account for illegitimate financial gain in 2011. According to reports, Yung made $200 million after investing in Stom ENF, a junior Costac listed company, in 2009 using an account registered in Jun's name and stating his plans to buy it in a public filing a few months later. According to reports, Yung and the former CEO of Stom ENF, Kwon Sung Shik, gained unjust profits by leaking details of the MNA in advance. In a financial supervisory service investigation, June testified that she was not aware that such an account was open in her name. Jung denied the claims. After not so good things, let's mention Ji Hyun's good deeds. June gave the Korean Red Cross Society $100 million in 2014 in support of the Seoul Ferry tragedy victims. She kept giving 100 million won to the Hope Bridge Disaster Relief Society, helping with the COVID-19 pandemic response in 2020 and providing aid to those affected by the Olgen, Gyeongbuk wildfire victims in 2022. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. And see you next time bye.